Hello everybody. Uh, in this uh, short video, I'm going to explain the difference between identifying and non-identifying relationship. I'm going to use uh, four entities, uh, students, enrollment, courses, and clubs. Um, between students and enrollment is going to be an identifying. Between courses and enrollment is also another identifying relationship. And between students and clubs is a non-identifying. Now, the difference between the two is that between students and enrollment, the student's entity is a strong entity compared to the enrollment, which is a weak entity. The reason it's weak is because the enrollment, we, we, we cannot have enrollments without having students. Uh, so it's dependent. Enrollment is dependent as an entity is dependent on the student's entity compared to the club's entity, uh, which is not dependent on the students. It's a standalone entity. We can have clubs without having students. And the um, uh, the other main difference between identifying and unidentifying is that in uh, the identifying, the identifying relationship, the primary key of the strong entity is part of the primary key of the weak entity, is part of the primary key. As you can see, the primary key here is a composite key. Student ID by itself is not a primary key, but is part of the primary key, which is a composite key in here, student ID, course ID, and term. And uh, in addition to being a, a, a part of the primary key is also a foreign key that links students to enrollments. Compared to clubs, uh, the relationship between students and clubs, the student ID in the club's entity is not a part of the primary key, is only a foreign key that links the two. Now in the workbench, the, uh, the unidentifying is represented by a strong line the, compared to non-identifying, which is a discontinued or a cut line. Um, I have in here some notes that explain the difference between identifying and non-identifying. Uh, we talked about the primary keys and etc. and strong and weak entity. Now, uh, I, uh, in uh, previously recorded videos, I will explain how um, to represent identifying and non-identifying in the workbench using two ways. So stick around. There are two videos in this same one. Um, uh, in this presentation, you, uh, there are two more videos that explain how you can do that in the workbench. So stick around. So in this one, uh, in this one, uh, I'm gonna mute the video. In this one, uh, use same thing: three entities, the clubs and enrollment. And as you can see here, you can choose between identifying and non-identifying relationships. Now I'm gonna use the identifying, and I'm not gonna use any of the non-identifying relationships. Um, and I will build a relationship between uh, enrollments and students. So one to many, which you always start with the many side, of course, from enrollment to students. Uh, and this is an uh, right now is an identifying relationship because it's a continued line. I will do the same between uh, 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 clubs and students. Uh, again, I start with the mini side to the student side. And right now is an identifying, but of course, this one I need to change it later on to a non identifying. As you can see, the icons here. The student ID is part of the primary key. In here is uh, uh, right now, because it's identifying, it's showing as a part of the primary key, but this has to change in a minute um, and to make this one a non-identifying. Uh, the student is a strong entity. The enrollment is a weak entity, is dependent on the students. And uh, the clubs is a standalone, as I explained in the previous slide. It doesn't have, uh, it, it's not dependent on the students, so it doesn't need to be identifying. Uh, what I will do is uh, change, uh, keep one as identifying, but change the, uh, the second one to a non-identifying. So I'm gonna double click on the relationship uh, to uh, reset it in the uh, foreign key tab. Um, let's see, da, 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 da. okay. I need to fast forward a little bit because there is uh, some talking about the enrollment tab. I previously recorded uh, this video and the audio was not perfect. So I uh, did it once more, but now I have to wait for uh, the <laughs> the mouse to go to the, to the relationship. I apologize for this in a little inconvenience. I'm not expert in recording <laughs> videos. Uh, anyway, so uh, in a minute, it's gonna show uh, the mouse clicking on the relationship. Okay. All right, so go ahead. <laughs> now, 
no not not yet okay now i think all right foreign key so the foreign key tab in here uh, you have this uh, I can hear the unidentified relationship this checkbox if you uncheck that one it will become a non identifying and then the line become becomes a discontinued line uh, compared to the continued line or if you want to call it cut line uh, the other one uh, it's, it's supposed to be identifying so we're not gonna change it um, uh, we're just gonna leave it as an identified relationship because if we do it's gonna become identifying so we're just gonna keep the checkbox and we close the relationship uh, tab and again this is in the foreign tab uh, okay and uh, that's how you set it to unidentified or non-identifying as you can see if you double click on the enrollment entity the student id is part of the primary key all three are checked it's a composite key um, compared for example to when we're going to click on the the clubs you'll see that the student id is not part of the primary key is a foreign key as you can see the the icon in the workbench uh, is changed a little bit see how it looks like a little star compared to how the primary key looks um so it's uh it's, it's, it's not a primary key it's just a it's, it's just a foreign key right now okay stick around uh in the next video i'm gonna show you how to do the same thing but this time uh picking the right icon you know so you don't have to if you already know that something is um is uh non-identifying you don't have to set it as unidentified and then go back and change it back and change it again to non-identifying so again in this uh next one um in this next one i'm gonna delete the relationship and i'm just gonna um set it since Hello, everybody. i'm gonna let me sorry video. let me mute that okay so again i'm just gonna delete the relationship and uh, instead of changing it after facts i'm gonna since the since since the start since the beginning i'm gonna set it as a non-identifying of course by picking uh, the non-identifying or uh, the identifying icon so as you can see now i just deleted the relationship that existed between students and clubs and instead of setting up as identifying and then double clicking and then changing it to a non-identifying icon since the start if i already know if i know that it's a non-identifying i'm gonna set it up as, as as such and as you can see here the student id is a foreign key yes but it's not part of the primary key and if you click on the foreign key tab you see here that it's a uh, non-identifying and it's unchecked uh, and uh, if if it happens that later on you find out that it was a mistake or something of course you can always go back and change it to identifying and vice versa okay so um i hope that helps sorry for the you know the videos that were <laughs> recorded previously i try to give you all uh, different perspective on how to build identify and identify and hope that helps thank you for watching